There are two common strategies used by the central figure of a destructive cult when indoctrinating and manipulating victims into submission. Number one, create a problem and convince the victims that this problem exists. And number two, convince the victims that the central figure is the solution to those problems. In the case of cult leaders who claim to be divine healers, the problem is often the unknown sins which they claim to result in sickness. And they claim to have the answers as to what these sins are and can offer them healing either through their own power or through the claims that God honors their prayer more than the prayers of the cult victims. Over time, with leaders having severe narcissistic tendencies, they begin to claim to have more success in healing than Jesus Christ and claim that the world would like to kill them for their supernatural power. Faith healer John Alexander Dowie told his faithful just that. He warned the faithful that if he disappears, it was because he had been murdered. And then he began to claim that specific groups that he targeted as the enemy during his lectures had plotted his assassination. He then told his victims that Jesus had less than 30 miracles during his lifetime and that he had more than 10,000 cures. William Branham, who was mentored by the Dowie cult leader F.F. F. Bosworth and Dowieite Gordon Lindsay, made the same claims frequently in his ministry. Branham often reminded his victims that his sermons were recorded as the message so that if and when he was assassinated, they would still have the recordings of his faith healing revivals. Branham also claimed that more miracles were performed in the Branham Tabernacle than in Jesus Christ's entire ministry on earth. You can learn this and more on william-branham.org.